welcome to Northwest Air Guns. I'm John and today we're going to talk about a subject that uh, is peripherally involved with uh, uh, machine work and gunsmithing and air gunsmithing, that type of thing. And I don't know why, you know, machinists and hobby machinists and gunsmiths and air gunsmiths, we don't usually talk about this. And I, I don't know if there's something about it that um, is a, st causes a stigma or what, but we're going to go ahead and, and break the silence here and talk about a subject that very rarely gets uh, discussed. And that topic is shop aprons. So what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to go, I actually have a collection of shop aprons. I've got uh, two, four, six, seven, eight that, uh, that I have. And I'm going to kind of run through them and we'll take a look at some of the features that, uh, that I think are are good and, and helpful in a shop setting and maybe some that aren't so good. Uh, the only limitation on these is that they all cost less than 25 bucks uh, and some of them cost quite a bit less and so we'll talk about that a little bit too. But let me run through what I've got here and uh, let's talk aprons. Alright so why do we care about shop aprons? Well the main reason is uh, they keep your clothes clean and ideally Whatever dirt or oil or whatever grime comes off of what you're working on attaches to the shop apron and not to your shirt or your pants or other clothes. So that's kind of number one. Um, another reason is uh, that if sometimes you'll be um, using a Dremel tool with those little wire brushes and you'll be cleaning a part off with it, and the doggone uh, wire wheel, uh, some of the wires will fly off of there and they'll actually uh, stab you in the gut or wherever and uh, the apron tends to catch those some and so the apron's a good idea from that standpoint too. The other thing about aprons is that you can put stuff in them so that you don't have to have a cart or go back over to the uh, toolbox or something. You can stick your micrometer in there, a scale, pencil or pen or some other, some, some other sort of marking device. And for me, one of the important things that uh, I use my apron for is to stick paper towels in so I can wipe my hands occasionally or wipe the part or whatever. So uh, aprons are a very important part of my uh, shop routine. So let's take a look at some. All right, well, here we go. Uh, this is the first apron I ever owned and uh, this is actually not a machinist apron, it is kind of a denim, but I got this in 1973 uh, when I was working as a student, uh, uh, student uh, employment at the post office in Sacramento, California. And we got the, believe it or not, mail is dirty and boxes are dirty and the, the mail bags, all that stuff. And so, uh, we all had uh, aprons like this so that we could uh, keep our clothes clean and uh, it's a really nice apron I like the pocket here it's a small pocket it does have pockets up here but um, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at these pockets and seeing how they work and here's one you know I've, I cut my head off in the in the frame here just so we could focus on the apron but you know the pen fits there pretty good but if you look down you're liable to poke it with your chin. Here's a scale, six inch scale. Put that in there and it's the same thing. It's sticking up and if you look down, it's, I mean, it pokes you in the chin. So uh, this is really not a very good apron for machinist work, but then again, it wasn't intended to be. And just as an aside, I met my wife at the post office and she sewed this nice purple liner onto here and they used to be a butterfly that she sewed on here on the pocket. It's long gone, unfortunately, but anyway, this apron, uh, I keep it around because it has some, I guess you'd say, sentiment uh, to it that uh, that I, I just can't part with it. The other bad thing about this apron is it has a little tiny, um, the, the, the strap here is itty bitty and on the one hand, that's good because it keeps it up, but it actually just barely fits over my head. Well, I'm not going to talk too much about this one. This is a 
uh, more of a woodworker's or carpenter's apron. Um, if you're working on machine tools or you're a gunsmith, uh, you know, don't be this guy that wears this. And the other thing about this one is you can also use it as a bib, tighten it up, and you could eat uh, barbecued ribs and not get the sauce on your shirt. But yeah, don't be this guy. All right, well, this is a, an apron that I got up in uh, Lassen College. Uh, I went up there and I signed up for the air gunsmithing classes. And we got a list of tools and equipment that we were going to need for the class. And um, the one thing I didn't get, well, you know, we, we took files and screwdrivers and little hammers and stuff like that, uh, uh, punch sets. And, and on the list was a, a shop apron. But I didn't have any, I didn't have time to go shop for one, so we got up to the class and the first day, um, you know, I didn't have an apron and I could tell that I was going to get my clothes dirty if I didn't have one, so I went over to the student store, myself and one other student, uh, my friend Bob Sloan, and uh, we went to the student store and we shopped for aprons there and they only had uh, this one apron, it's the only one, and in fact it's not an apron it was in the art section and this is actually an artist's frock but it worked pretty well it's got one two three I mean lots of room for um, paper towels and uh, micrometers or it's worked pretty well overall I kinda like it so the downside of course is that it doesn't have any pockets up here for your pen or your scale or that type of thing uh, one nice thing is it is adjustable here so if you like it you know, up high like this, it works, or if you like it down low, either way. But this is a nice one, and it, if you can, uh, if you cannot find uh, a shop apron in your uh, area, well, you might go try the art supply store and get yourself an artist frock. All right, well, here's a an apron that I actually use quite a bit. Um, it's not because I like it particularly. Uh, but it's the one I use and then hang up on the hook uh, when I go back into the house. When I come back out to the shop, it's on the hook. So I pull it off the hook and put it on. Um, I, I kind of like the length because it comes down to the knees. And there are times when stuff splatters around and it, it saves you a little bit on your uh, uh, keeping your pants clean. A um, couple things about it. If you don't like the ties in the back, you know, that, this is not a good choice, but I don't have any problem with that. Um, it has one nice deep pocket here. You can see the pen fits in there fine. The uh, six inch square, actually, or the six inch scale actually fits in there pretty well. And uh, you can stick a micrometer in there, or, you know, any number of things. The problem is that's the only pocket. And it would have been better to have some pockets down around here to stuff my uh, paper towels in or uh, maybe a little bit bigger pockets for uh, different tools that you're using that you might want to keep uh, on your person as you're working. And then finally, the, the other thing I don't like is that there's no adjustment on the neck. You can't bring it up or down without uh, tying this strap uh, or sewing it or something like that. So, you know, I'm going to switch um, and this will no longer be the one that's hanging on my hook. This is one I've had for a while and I think I'm trying to remember why I stopped using it because I kind of like it. Um, I think I washed it. Uh, took it to a laundromat or something and threw it in and, and uh, just never uh, you know then it wasn't on the hook so I couldn't pull it off the hook and put it on. Um, but it's kind of nice in a lot of ways. It does have a pretty good sized pocket here, which, uh, you know, I love my paper towels and they would go in that. It's got spots for uh, different things. You can put a scale in here. You can put a, a pen or pencil or something, some kind of marker. You can even fit a small micrometer in that side. Uh, one thing that's kind of that I don't like about this is that then these things stick up quite a ways. It's not bad, but if, you know, if they'd have made this another half inch uh, longer on the pockets, that would have been my preference. Um, 
it's nice and long. You see, it comes down mid uh, calf, mid whatever that down the shin, I guess. And uh, so that's kind of a nice thing. Um, it just has the one tie. I mean, you could get uh, another strap and tie it behind you, but um, this isn't too hard to do, and I don't mind that part of it. Um, this strap here at the top is something that you can tie a different length. So if you do like your apron up here or lower or whatever, altogether this is a pretty nice apron. Um, and I, I've got some other ones here that I just bought, some new ones. We'll talk about them. But if they're not any better than this, then uh, this is the one that's going to go on the hook. All right, well, here's some new ones that I've got. Um, and these are all ones that I've bought within the last month or so. Uh, you know, I went out and blew about 50 bucks altogether on these last three. Because um, I wanted to see, you know, what was out there, and I, you know, I might like them better. This one is made by um, Red Cap, Cap with a K, and uh, I think it's their mechanic or machinist apron, and it has adjustments in the back so that you can adjust the height of the straps there. It's, you know, you can undo them here if you want and then, and then stick them back in, but you know, I actually think it's kind of nice that you can just kind of swim into it. And you're in. I, I like that. And then you can, you know, like I say, you can adjust these straps to get where you want it. Um, the uh, pockets. I love pockets. I got uh, this pocket here, which is plenty for my uh, for my paper towels or whatever. I got another pocket over here. This one is kind of neat. It has a snap in it. Um, so. I kind of like this stuff. Uh, these are actually a little deep. I'm surprised. They're, uh, well, let's see, six inch, uh, maybe nine inches deep, which is a pretty dang big pocket. But I like big pockets, so, so that's a plus. Uh, and then it's got the uh, pocket up here, and this is one of those where you can bend over and the pocket bends with you, so if you have to pick something up off the floor or whatever, your stuff doesn't fall out onto the floor. It'll stay in. Um, these are pretty good size for a scale, uh, for a pencil or whatever. Plenty of room for a micrometer. And they got this little pocket here. I don't know if you can see that. Try and get that into the picture there. This little pocket, uh, I'm not sure what this little pocket's for. There may be a purpose to it that I'm just not familiar with. Um, but it seems kind of an odd size. I, I don't know what you do, put nuts and bolts in there. Or, um, I, I just don't know. If you know, uh, drop me a note and let me know because I'd be curious to see. And If I start using this apron a lot, I'll probably find a use for that one. This is uh, made in Eche, Eche in Mexico. So this is from Mexico and it's a pretty nice apron. Okay, well this apron is a Ben Davis apron. If you can see the, the logo there. Um, good old Ben Davis right there on the, above the pocket. And uh, my recollection of Ben Davis is that this is what they sold uh, in the old Army Navy surplus store. Downtown Napa, they had a lot of Ben Davis stuff. Ben Davis uh, pants and shirts and uh, people who worked in the woods as loggers or whatever, they wore Ben Davis and uh, it pretty sturdy um, work gear from, from what I can recall. Uh, this one here, um, I don't know if I like it or not, it's got a, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got a, a fairly elaborate system here for, for uh, tying it up and you can raise or lower this by pulling more or less uh, of these straps. I mean, you can you can actually lower it way down too if you want uh, and tie it off. So we'll, we'll have to play with this and see. But for ease of use, I guess it's not too bad. But um, seems like a lot of effort just to tie on a doggone apron. Um, 
in terms of the pockets, it does have a couple of pockets here, which I like. Let's see, these are um, a little less than six inches deep, and a little more than oops, a little more than let's see, a little more than six inches wide, about seven inches wide. That's a good size pocket. You can put plenty of stuff in there, but they are shallow. So if that's an issue, uh, I guess we'll find out. It has pockets up at the top here. Again, it's got the, the kind that uh, flops out if you bend over. Uh, these pockets here are what, about four inches which I guess is okay, but again, if you're going to make a pocket, I would have made them a half inch to an inch longer so that just, the, you know, the, the top of your scale or your pencil or whatever sticks out. This one here is about five inches deep, and so you can put a lot of stuff in there. That's a good one for scales, or, you know, pens or whatnot. And again, it, it'll, it'll, flop open like that when you bend over to get something up off the floor. So I kind of like this um, in almost all respects, except for it does seem elaborate to have to tie it up. And this one, Ben Davis used to be made in the United States, and now they're made 100% cotton, uh, made in the Dominican Republic of USA fabric. So I guess the cotton comes from the United States, and they sew it up. Uh, you know, when, they, when they're done sewing baseballs, they make uh, Ben Davis aprons. But that's a nice apron. I like that. And like I say, it's less than 20 bucks is my recollection. Or right about 20. Oh, 17 dollars It's right there on the sticker. Okay, the last apron we've got here is uh, Dickie's. And I got this from a working person's, a working person's store. It cost... Uh, Fourteen ninety nine, fifteen bucks for it, and uh, this one is uh, hecho in Mexico as well, and it's nicely made. It's got a lot of the same features as the Ben Davis, but just a little bit different pattern as far as the uh, pockets here on the top. Let's see, this is. Uh, that's about a five inch pocket. And that's also a little less than five inch pocket here. So that's kind of nice. It's got the, the uh, fold out pocket here. It's got two pockets down below, which are similar in size to the Ben Davis. And all of which leads me to believe that they're uh, pretty similar in most respects. I didn't put it on yet. I just wanted to show how the uh, ties go because uh, this is similar to one we looked at earlier. in that you got two straps here. One of them you're going to use for the neck to get that however long you want it. And the other one is just a simple tie in the back where you bring it from one side around and tie it into this side. Uh, plenty long. Well, this is a nice apron. I, I think I could, I could uh, use this and be pretty happy with it. So let me wrap this up. Um, which one is my favorite apron? I don't know yet. I'm going to have to try out the Dickies and the Ben Davis to see which one of those works best for me. Um, the red cap, I think, is, is a contender. Uh, it's got some nice features and it's got huge pockets. Uh, I'm not sure I, I like the straps, but um, they are adjustable. And like I say, you can just kind of slip into it without tying stuff. So I kind of like that. And then the other ones, you know, the older ones that I've got here, uh, these are okay, but, um, well, this one here is actually, I'm going to try this one again. I may hang this up on the hook and just see what, uh, how I feel about it after a while. So, so that's kind of a short look at uh, machinist aprons and gunsmithing aprons, and if you don't have one, um, you're going to get your clothes dirty underneath, uh, and 
you're not going to have these handy pockets to put your stuff in while you're working. Um, so, kind of like a lot of things, better to have a even a bad apron than no apron at all. I mean, really, there is uh, there's this one, and this is better than nothing. And like I say, this can double as a bib for when you're eating sloppy food. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.